Today we received some thornless blackberries in the mail and we're going to go plant them near where we have some invasive Himalayan blackberries. So I'm going to do an unboxing video. Okay, so here's the box. I already cut it open. And inside we have the packing slip from Indiana Berry. These are the instructions. Brambles. There, uh, there's a lot to go on here. And they include a catalog. Now, here are the blackberries. And they are taped. The bag is taped. And they said in the instructions to make sure that there's no sun because they're very sensitive to sun and it's it's a very cloudy day. Even though it's cloudy, we're going to try and be careful about the sun. So there's Chris out there digging out the Himalayan blackberries that we are going to plant these next to. Okay, so I have untaped the bag, unwound it completely. There are the blackberries that they sent. They're really short because in the instructions they say, once you plant them, you just cut them right off at the base because you want the plant to come from the base. You don't want it to come from the buds because then it will try and make berries. So that is what they look like right now. I'm going to put them back in the bag. Seal it up to keep them moist because they are bare root. And yeah, start following the instructions. Okay, so <laughs> here's Chris. He's been digging out the Himalayan blackberries. Yep. They're all around the chicken run that we have here. It's a very, very secure chicken run. So the, the Himalayan blackberries are here, and we are going to plant the Ponca thornless erect blackberries, Fukuoka style, where we found the Himalayans. Did you talk about what Fukuoka style is? I have not talked about what Fukuoka style is. Okay, so the deal is that Fukuoka said in one of his books that we should go around our property and make a bunch of observations and identify the plants that are there. And then once we identify the plants, if they're a plant that we don't want, like these Himalayan blackberries, we plant something in the same family um, and that should do well. Okay. And what we're looking for are weeds that are really tenacious. We don't water them, we don't care for them, they just take over. And that's what we want to replace. So we're going to dig these out and then put some new blackberries in their place. All right, the Himalayan blackberries are really pernicious here in Oregon. They're just, they run rampant, they're everywhere. So we're supposed to make a little furrow, right? Yeah, you're supposed to make a trench. Okay. So like long and skinny along the fence here because someday I want to not have fence. I want to have blackberries instead. Okay. Daisy's gonna, helping. Daisy's helping and that means watching for small critters to come out of the ground. All right. A little furrow. All right. So here are the blackberries. I'll pass that over. <sighs> Very secure fence there. What do you think, Daisy? Are there any critters over here? There's probably critters around here. <laughs> I have untaped the bag. Wow, they look pretty good. Yeah, the systems good. are well developed and the, the stems are thick. No, you can't eat this. Well, not yet. Yeah, hopefully the chickens won't eat it. I don't know. Daisy, stop that. <laughs> That's my marker that I put in the ground where I wanted to plant the blackberries. It looks like they already did the kind of separation bit where you kind of like part it. Okay. A bit. I'll just make sure to maintain that. Yep. over too much. 
the other thing we need to keep in mind when we're planting berries, like strawberries and blackberries, any berry I think is actually any tree, is to keep it at the same height in the soil that it was before. So we're going to bury this about where it was before. <laughs> Put a rock under it, over it. The same height that the plant was before. Yeah, the same soil height. So don't like completely bury it and don't leave it super shallow so that it dries out. Okay, so that's one. And I'm trying out this gimbal and it's supposed to focus on your face, but because there's a fence in the way and you're bending over, it loses you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll do the other two off camera and, and then water them in. Yeah. steps are we're going to take the pruners and cut it right next to the ground and then we're going to water them in. Snip this. Easy. I'm trying to attack the chickens. been in the mail a couple days so it's a good idea to water them in good. And then hopefully we get lots of delicious berries in probably a year. Yeah. They said we might need to trellis for the first year but after that they'll probably stand up on their own. That's so cool. And then I will train them like the um, black raspberry spiral. Which is more like a half circle. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.